I don't even know where to start. I have so much stuff. I hope you guys are great and excited to do a Dollar Tree haul with me. You know I love some Dollar Tree hauls and I know a lot of you guys do too. Sorry if I sound out, I'm out of, very out of breath today. If you don't know, I announced on my last video, if you haven't seen it, that I am pregnant. And for all of you that have seen it and left a comment, I wanna say thank you so, so, so much for all of the sweet words, kind messages. You just sent me such an outpour of love. You all were just so thoughtful and so sweet and it just made my heart so warm inside. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. The little baby in my belly says thank you. And um, yeah, but so if I sound a little bit out of breath, I'm just, I don't know, I'm breathy, I'm breathy today. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff to get through. So let's just get into it. I honestly don't, okay, this is like, I don't know, three or four different trips throughout like the past few weeks that it's all like Christmas stuff. I have my house like 70% of the way decorated, I would say. Like I have a lot of the big stuff done. I don't have like the tree actually decorated, but the tree is up. And you know, like I have like garlands up but like all the little things around them aren't necessarily done. My coffee bar isn't done yet, although I will be doing that, decorating that in the next video that I've started on. And so that will be next, a little decorate with me, doing my coffee, uh, hot, co hot cocoa, hot cocoa bar, and some other little Christmas decorating stuff. So anyways, a lot of this stuff is still Christmas stuff, actually. I would say the majority of it is Christmas stuff. Let's just pop in, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that's on top is this scarf, this like little Santa scarf. I think this is so dang cute, not necessarily to use as a scarf, although you totally could, and I'm going to right now. Um, but I really, I really, what if I turn into like a valley girl? I really only saw this at one or two um, Dollar Trees, and that was it. And I've been to like quite a few different ones, but I just think it's so cute, not only to just wear as a little scarf, but to use if you're like decorating a little shelf and you kind of just want to like, you know, flow it around some other decor pieces or something like that. I think, or stick it in like a little, like a little like bucket of sorts or something like that and have like half of it hanging out, you know? I think there's a lot of cute things you could do with it. So I'm a big fan. Oh, by the way, I, yes, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I am working on the house today and tomorrow and um, when I decorate the house, I'm usually rocking some Christmas pajamas. I like to decorate in Christmas pajamas. I did put on a little bit of makeup for you guys because I knew I needed to film this haul, but usually I don't have on makeup. So we'll see if my decorate with me video, if I have any makeup on or not, but I did throw some makeup on for this video, but left on the Christmas pajamas. <laughs> the next thing I found was this Buffalo check, buffalo plaid, I always forget. Oven mitt, I thought this was really cute um, to use as decoration and possibly use it, but I'm not I, I'm not positive if this would like not burn you, so I just am planning on using it more as little decoration in my kitchen. I also picked up this little cup that says sweater weather. I've seen this a few times now. Oh, I also have another one. I will insert a clip of it because I just used it. I think it says it's the most wonderful time of the year, I'm pretty sure, and it's red. I love it so much. Um, I know the whole sweater weather is more of a fall thing, but when you live in Florida, fall is not really sweater weather the majority of the time. So this, I feel, is like just now appropriate, and it's burgundy, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, Christmassy too. This is the red coffee cup that I got. I think it's so cute with the red and the white. I love it, I've been using it like crazy. This is the other one that I picked up. It's the most wonderful time of the year again, but this is with the red and the black. I think this is so cute for water, and yeah, I've been loving this as well. You can see like that the paper in there isn't perfect, but I don't mind it for a dollar. Works just fine for me. I was not that imp impressed with their little like wall, or like little, what are these technically called? Oh, it just says decor. These little pieces this year, um, these are the only two that I really saw, but I did get them anyways, because I still, I still think they're cute. They're just not like the best I've ever seen, but I love the Believe in the Magic of Christmas. I think that's real cute. And this one that just says, ho, ho, ho. I think these are cute for like little bathroom shelves or just, you know, little shelf areas or just, little, I don't know, I don't know, little spaces that you want to fill with some cute little Christmassy accents. Some random things that uh, 
are not Christmas, some art brushes. I honestly don't even remember why I got that. Uh, these galvanized letters that say, um, believe, what does it have? Believe? What, it, what are the other ones? I don't know. I just saw the believe. I'm not sure. Peace? Is there believe in there? All right, now I, oh, oh, there it is. Peace, joy, and believe. So, I know they had these at, um, fall that said, like, harvest and whatever, welcome. So, I thought these were cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I'm not really, um, doing any DIYs this year for Christmas because, quite frankly, I just haven't had the energy to do it. Um, I did find these that I think are pretty cute. These little tag ornaments I think are new this year. This one says, hello winter, holiday cheer, and peace, love, and joy. So I thought those were real cute. I love the little tag, um, you know, look to them. I also picked up these little mitts to go along with this mitt for the kitchen. Okay. Let's go. We got, let's go with this bag. Oh my god, no way! I have another one of these scarves. I don't even remember. Maybe I bought this on the same trip. And I just got like two and I thought I'd use two. Well, another one of the scarves. Um, okay, so I also picked up some of these wood what DIY wood signs. I got this little gingerbread man, which I think is Oh, so cute. I thought my daughter might like to do a little, I don't know, coloring, painting with it. And then this one I got says Merry and Bright, which I think is super cute. And my idea with these, okay, what else did I get before I tell you my idea? I also got the little red truck. Well, obviously it's not red. <laughs> the truck with the tree, super cute. And then this one that says let it snow and then i think i got another truck one and i have a couple right here that i can see i think i got another let it snow and merry and bright so here's my idea with these in my main tree my, my family and tree, the tree that we put the presents under. I am going to be adding some signs into that tree and kind of like decorating it with signs as well as ornaments and some skis and stuff like that. I'm just gonna like fill it up and make it like fun and funky. Not really funky, but you know, just like fun and different. Um, so I plan on painting these. I don't know how it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna be one of those things that I play around with and we'll see how it all comes together. Um, but so I'm going to paint these the signs that I'm planning on using in that tree Let's just jump around a little bit since I'm talking about it are the signs that were out last year that were super popular I ended up finding some more of them this year and I thought okay This could be really cool in the tree So I got this one the home for the holidays with the truck and the tree I love like the tag kind of look to this. I, I just love everything about this sign honestly um, so I got a couple of those and I just think it'll be fun to add these into the tree and I have some red skis to put in it I know the tree sounds crazy right now and it might not end up looking good But I'm going to give it a shot and hopefully it'll be something like cool And then I got this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year that has the little deer on it and the green trees Which I think is so cute and I love the look of those together and then what else I was thinking about putting in the tree are some of these little sleds that said, this one says, let it snow. I think they all say, yeah. I got a few of these with the little snowman that says, let it snow, which I think is cute. You know, it kind of all like ties together. And so I think I'm gonna do the signs, like the the wood signs, maybe white. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. And I'll definitely share it once. Maybe I'll like share decorating my tree. I am not a tree decorator professional kind of person i love trees decorated or not decorated i see them i think they're just so beautiful to me with just some lights on them even without lights i just love the look of christmas trees um but i also think it's fun to see all the decorated trees decorated in different styles and different ways so yeah that's a lot about a christmas tree but oh but the whole reason i was saying that i i want to get better and better at decorating a tree and doing like different funky things to it so anyways maybe i will do a decorate with me 
of my big tree. Let me know if you guys would want to see me decorating my big tree and how it all comes together. I also picked up these cute little Santa hat felt stickers. I did get these a little while ago, so I don't know if they'll still be out. I bet these were kind of popular, but I just, I don't even know what I'm going to use them for, but I just think they're so dang cute. And I also picked up this little hat. Originally, I thought that I might add some of these hats into my tree. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, but I do think this is oh so cute. Oh, I got some more felt stickers. I got these little Christmas tree felt stickers. Super cute. If you plan, do planner stuff, perfect. This time of the year, you know, throw a Christmas tree, Santa hat. I don't know. Other people do like DIYs with felt stickers. I don't know. Lots of things you could do with it, I guess. Also picked up a random reindeer. I love reindeer, especially glittery ones. Love them. Oh, and I also picked up these sleighs. They had them last year. I love them so much. Oh, wait. They were backwards. I love them so, so much. I think they're so cute. I just wish they were bigger. I think these will be cute on, like, a dining table as, like, a little place on top of a plate, which I don't... I don't... I thought I got four. It looks like I only got two, so... I don't know if I would be able to use it like that since I don't think I got all of them. Plus, this one looks a little beat up. But I just wish these were bigger because I originally was thinking that this could be good in my tree. I'm sitting so low, you guys. I feel like you can barely see me. Hold on. Let me see if I can use them. That's better. You know, only halfway through the video. More than halfway. And now I sit up a little bit higher. Sorry. I would say if you're looking for something specific to give yourself enough time to hit up like a few dollar trees that are in your surrounding area most people have like at least two to three if not more in like a 10 15 20 minute distance to their house so that's what i've been doing um because that tends to work the best for me uh so if you are looking for something specific don't give up just yet just go look around at a few of them. So I said earlier I'm doing a hot chocolate hot coffee bar. Hot coffee? What? I said that, I think I just said that in another I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing a hot chocolate and coffee bar and although I have like actual like powdered hot chocolate I did see these Intamin's hot chocolate and my husband loves Intamin's so I thought that this might be uh, kind of yummy to try. It says it has 45 calories, two grams. I mean, when you're drinking, are you really worried about like how many calories are in your hot chocolate? Not this time of the year, I'm not. Um, so anyways, I got two of those to try out. If any of you guys have tried this, let me know if it's good. I'm really hoping that it might be good. Even though recently I've realized that I prefer hot chocolate with milk over water. It's just so much more like rich tasting. Mmm, I just discovered that. Oh, let me tell you what I'm so excited about. Okay, if you've watched my channel, you probably know that I'm a Hallmark movie addict. I even went to a thing called Christmas Con in New Jersey a few weeks ago with my mom, my dad, my brother, and my daughter Lennon because we all love Hallmark movies. My brother not as much as the rest of us, but he still watches them. And um, yeah, we got to meet like a lot of the Hallmark stars. Anyways, I, I watch it, we we're obsessed with the movies, and they always drink hot chocolate in the Christmas and winter ones. And when they're drinking hot chocolate, they're always drinking them out of these little glass cups, or glass, uh, you know, glassware, and it looks so fancy, and they put whipped cream on top, and, and, and marshmallows, and sometimes some little like chocolate chips and stuff. So I decided this year, I needed to make hot chocolate that looked like that. So, I went to Dollar Tree and found these little cups, glasses, whatever, it's glass, and it looks just like the Hallmark Christmas movie hot chocolate when I make it. It's so cute. I even get the whipped cream and the whole shebang, and my daughter loves it, and only a dollar, only a dollar for these, and it looks so, like, fancy and festive. I just love it. Such a good thing. I think it'll be super cute in the hot chocolate bar, coffee bar. And um, I don't know. I just freaking love this thing. So such a great find for if you want to feel fancy while you're drinking your hot chocolate. Oh, God, I got to sneeze. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. I also picked up this little jar. 
to possibly use in the bar area for the marshmallows or something but I also have a couple other options so I just have that to play around with just in case I picked up some command hooks because these are a great deal I think for one dollar and they only hold up to two pounds but for a lot of like little Christmassy things I think they're great and they don't ruin your wall unlike the Dollar Tree brand one or whatever the, the knockoff brand was that one has ruined my wall multiple times so beware if you do use that one I randomly got some lifesaver men picked up some party plates paper plates i just said party plates this says it on the back i grabbed some white rain hairspray because i don't use hairspray that much and um i figure white rain's gotta work right i don't know give it a try also picked up some outlet um things that you can you know make it to where you can plug in a lot more i've used these before these work great for me so i picked up a couple of those because you know this time of year you're plugging all the things in i picked up this spick and span antibacterial spray i've been using this for a while and i really like it a lot it's not like you know the most amazing wonderful smell but it's not a bad smell and i think it does the job and it's antibacterial so you know keeping the kitchen clean oh I picked up these gift bags. I think they're so cute. I love them. I'm possibly going to use them in a frame and use them as decor. I just love doing that with Dollar Tree gift bags. And I just, I love this. I love the colors. I love everything about these little gift bags. So I picked up two of those. I will show you. I also picked up two other ones that I already put in a frame. So I'll show you those. This is the other gift bag that I already put in a frame. That was the Dollar Tree gift bag. I thought it was super cute and I wanted, I have two frames right here. So I just put the same. I love putting Dollar Tree gift bags into different frames. This is a frame that I already had from Ikea, but Dollar Tree also sells frames and stuff. Or you could get a frame from a thrift store or anything like that, but simple easy and budget friendly Christmas decor. Oh, I also picked up some poinsettias. I will show you those because I'm already using them. They're just like their little red poinsettias. I took some of Dollar Tree's red poinsettias and added them into the little hanging baskets that I had from Dollar Tree. I have three of them on my porch and I just think they look so cute. Obviously you could use real poinsettias, but from a distance, you can't really tell that they are fake poinsettias. So I figure I might as well just use these and I can reuse them next year. Also picked up this reindeer sleigh rides bag. How cute is that? Oh. And then this one that says farm fresh Christmas trees. I think that one is so cute. There was another bag I picked up somewhere. It said like no peeking on it, on the bag, but I'm not sure where that went. Oh, I also got some gift tags. I got these last year. I love these. And it just has the big two in the front on the back. This one's so cute. I love all the different sayings on them. Open on December 25th. Wrapped by and it says Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Elf. I think that's so cute. This, no peeking, open me first. This is a good one. Just super cute little tags. Dollar Tree had really, really good tags. And they still have a lot of tags out. And then I just got some little candy canes for my um, coffee bar. Oh, and one other thing. I got this shadow switching sponge. I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree, but you should be able, well, it's essentially for you to be able to like clean your makeup brush quickly and easily in between like colors. I know that they have like a, a expensive version of this. Um, you know, that probably works good, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never tried it, but I did want to try this out because if it works for a dollar, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to give that a try. If any of you guys have tried this before, let me know if it worked well for you. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is everything. We have reached the end of this huge Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing that you have found at Dollar Tree recently. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Stay tuned because the next video will be shopping with me and getting some little Christmas decor things and doing a decorate with me. We're kind of combining it together in one video. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you all so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.